Hi guys and welcome to my weekly series creative tips. I'm Axel Mulat. In this video, I will show you how to use canva.com for your blog post and use it to featured image. And before we get started, subscribe to my YouTube channel to get updates on my useful videos every Tuesday every week. And this is the website of canva.com. If you don't have an account yet, you can sign up or log in via Facebook or Google+. I have an account and I log in. And as you see guys, this is the home page of your Canva account. And to create a new album, click more. And as you see guys, there have a list of categories here based of the images and dimensions. Popular design types, social media posts for social media posts, dimension. As you see, the Facebook dimension post is 940 by 788. Documents, blogging in ebooks. Let's browse this. This dimension, guys, is good to my blog 560 by 315, but I want a larger dimension image, guys, because I want to fit all my images if in case I change a uh, WordPress theme in the future. Personally guys, I use the YouTube thumbnail dimension here. YouTube thumbnail, the dimension is 120 by 720 pixels. This dimension guys is fit to my blog. Why not? You can use any dimension guys of this categories but in this course we will choose the youtube thumbnail dimension and let's start editing guys and as you see in the left side of the screen you can drag this but some are paid some are free and this is the dollar icon this is a paid template there's some free here free you can drag this if you want but we will design our own guys or you can copy the design of the paid image, design your own scratch. For example, drag this. This is ready-made, guys. You can edit this and use it to your blog, but we will create our own. Delete this. Delete. Now deleted. Let's upload the free images we get in the pixabay.com the desktop drag or upload by a button drag and as you see the image is uploading after upload guys drag to the editor and stretch to fit stretch stretch Oop, delete this And this is the center of the image. And let's start to edit, guys, for our blog posts. Drag the shape. Drag the square. Make it center. As you see, guys, the line are showing up. That means the square is centered I drag and we can move this around and drag the text my blog title guys for my new blog post is how to protect your AdSense ad from click fraud or click bombing. And I guess the title are too long, but this is fine. Let's change the signature font. Roboto. Let's change the size 42 and uppercase all drag 
remain center let's duplicate this text guys to three copy copy and there have a three copies of this text I want to I want a different style guys every text that's why Now the title are separated to three section. We can use a different style in every text. Now guys, let's increase the size of this text. Let's turn this to lowercase and let's uppercase S and let's change the color to dark gray. Let's increase the size guys, I guess. Very large, 48, I guess. Change this to 48. And let's enlarge the box. And reduce the transparency. Up, drag this. drag and let's add a uh, another square we'll make this a line turn this to black color and let's add another text subheading for our blog URL makes this center change the font to Roboto and reduce this center I guess the footer of the primary image is fine. Let's arrange this, the main text. Let's play the sizes, guys, the text. I guess this is good to increase, 64, good. Okay, guys, what do you think, guys? The primary image is good. This is the style one, guys. We will create another style. Let's copy this. Copy this slide. And same, guys. We will add another style of primary image. This is the style two. Some bloggers doing this. Okay guys, I think that's good. What do you think you like? The first one style or the second style? Let's decrease the transparency. Oop. Like that. Okay guys, that's how to create a primary image or featured image in Canva. This is my style guys. 
and let's download this I guess this is good for me then this download and choose the first page download I already download guys in the desktop and let me show you the final result and this is the final primary image for my blog please like and share this video guys and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel to get my updates on my useful videos every tuesday every week if you have a question on this video just fill in the comment box section and i'll be response as soon as i can once again guys my name is axel mulat see you next tuesday bye for now